this, without doubt, is my favourite aeration of the year. G'day Lawnies, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Porn. It's the first day of summer, I'm excited. This aerating is just uh, gonna be fantastic today. It's my favorite aerate of the year. So I had some decisions to make with my own own lawn and you know, I'm following my program. I've had the sort of like the golf green. It's pretty easy to do if you just see my other videos. Maintaining it uh, nice and low with a cylinder mower and looking after and maintaining your thatch with, uh, you know, like the Swarbrick D thatcher and grooming and things like that. And of course, using plant growth regulator to regulate my growth. I'm just doing what I do every other year, I suppose. I, I'm, I'm deciding to up my, my height a bit. Cocky's allowed this one. I'll mow this uh, down uh, to six mil, um, which isn't gonna take much off anyway. It's, it's around about that height. Get that uh, Real Solutions aerator. And the good thing about the Real Solutions aerator is it's a little 12 millimeter hole. It's low impact. I am really look forward to having just an amazing tight pattern, uh, which will take me probably for the 60 square meters, probably an hour, hour and, a, hour and a quarter, hour and a half. Get the aerating cores out, sweep them up, and then I'll put down my sand, sweep that in. And now it's day one of my program, so I'm gonna get down my moist embargo, as a pre-emergent for the summer weeds. And what else am I gonna to do today? Ah, four seasons, that'll be good. So with the sand, sweep it in, fill in the holes, but not have much sand on top. One of the main questions is why are we aerating again when we only did it a couple of months ago? It's just beneficial for the grass. My program's obviously uh, geared towards Christmas day. This is a low impact aerate small holes fill them in we're not doing a, a renovation of the grass we're not cutting it right down to nothing the recovery time because it's summer the god loud the recovery time will be really really quick so within a week um you probably won't be able to notice it i want to be there baby there's a night away i let my head down if i want don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun Mow done at 6 mil, didn't really take that much off of it at all Look how finely chopped that is It's beautiful Show you what 
yeah, so they hit a bit of a snag. The, the, the sand is just definitely too wet. It's been rained on two days in a row and actually got rained on a little bit today. It's just too wet, it needs to be dry. And my sward is about six mil. Number one, the sand's too wet for going into the holes the way that I want it. Um, some of it's going into the holes, but not a lot. And the sand is just sticking in the sward. So I've changed my tack a little bit and now I've gone with a, with the a top dress much more than I would have hoped. What I'm gonna do now, and this is my wife's idea, it was quite a good idea, is uh, work it in with the Swordman. So, um, with the Swordman rotary brush. My wife has come up with the solution. Have. You have, you're good. The Swordman rotary brush is a very, very handy tool. It's one of the cartridges that comes with the Swordman. It's a brush that uh, I set initially at 10 mil and then I set it down after I've swept a bit of the sand in to five mil and it really just got the sand into the holes much much better the sand was still a little bit wet but uh, it really worked a treat however um, my plans of getting it all done in one day were totally shot so i decided to leave it a few days and let the sand dry out a bit before i gave it another try a few days of letting it dry, um, it was much better. And I also tried a broom that wasn't as stiff. As you can see, the sand is volcanoing into those holes quite a bit better. There was a lot of sweeping involved and the Swordman rotary brush really came in handy. I um, used it quite a bit, did many, many passes. Uh, it was uh, an invaluable tool. sort of consistency I was after. See, hold there, hold there, hold there, hold there. All full up and the grass nice and exposed. Didn't quite get it all. A couple haven't quite filled in. But yeah, that's what I'm going for. Been a, <laughs> countless runs with the Swordman rotary brush. I'm going to put down a moist and embargo tank mix. 300 mils of moist and 50 mils of embargo tank mix for 100 square meters. Then I'll put down some four seasons. With the 4S this will start absolutely going off and it'll be back in no time. Put down the moist and embargo tank mix. Straight after that I put down the fertilizer, the Four Seasons, at a two kilo rate for 100 square meters. Probably a bit hard to see with the camera. Oh, little balls in there. Oh, well, now I've turned the water on. Let's do it. 20 minutes. And then the next one we're going to turn on for 20 minutes is zone two. How are we going? Way it goes. Sit back and relax now. After I've done zone one, zone two for 20 minutes, I'll do it again just so it'll, it's not too long before the product gets watered in. So that's my uh, pre emergent herbicide for my summer weeds so they won't come up. My moist. 
for the month so my soil retains the water it doesn't go hydrophobic and four seasons is the start of my summer program it's gonna go mickey mouse Okay, it's nice and early in the morning. It's gonna be 35 today. There's no wind, 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm putting down my treatment now, simply because I don't wanna put it down when it's too hot. The treatment I'm doing today is launch 100 mils, root builder 100 mils in a tank mix per the 100 square meters. I've got 60 square meters, so I've done 60, 60. And uh, yeah, this is my week one treatment of the Lawn Porn Summer Program. And after I've done this, uh, I'm gonna to get to work getting it on the website because I haven't done that yet, so sorry about that. Just been flat out with work and everything else. It's just been nuts. I'm really looking forward to my holidays in a, in a week and uh, and Christmas and everything like that. I'll be able to get some more content out then. So yeah, really nice and early in the morning. Sun hasn't even risen yet. Let's get to it, this is gonna be fun. So this was only aerated and top dressed a few days ago. Yes, I did put four seasons down as well at the same time. And it's only been, what is it, four days since I did 4S, but foliar feeding is like spoon feeding. Your plants like spoon feeding a baby. So putting down a launch and root builder tank mix won't be an issue. It's, uh, the only time I really don't uh, kind of like what, what I like to call stacking, stacking my apps just to catch up on the program is when the product's got iron in it. Uh, for instance, 4S has got, uh, got iron in the mix and yeah, I don't want to be going doing a green light, stacking a green light application a few days after that, so to speak, because that's got iron in it. Same thing with charger, I wouldn't be stacking a charger app a few days after uh, a granular uh, app of Four Seasons. But launch and root builder, launch has got uh, nitrogen and, and kelp and phosphorus for the root zone. Root builder that's uh, kelp and that will, uh, that's a perfect little tank mix with launch and that'll uh, attack your root zone a little bit more. Now it's all going really well, uh, it's well off of a mow, um, obviously, it's very very short, simply because of the top dress filling, so I'll need a few days before I do a mow, but it's going to be looking fantastic in a few days, I mean it's looking good already, but yeah, I'm going to go a little bit longer. Uh, up to the 8 mil mark. Yeah, it's looking alright. 